Many people in our culture are chasing success goals of fame and fortune, yet you and your book sort of say that they could be traps. Uh, what do you mean by that, and how does your how does your book help the reader to find success for themselves? Um, well, the 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 culture. One of the points I make in the book is that whether we like it or not, our surrounding culture is going to create a lot of expectations for us. And when you filter that culture through the prism of a family and where, how you grew up and where you grew up and the peer group that you grew up around, you're going to have almost a hypnotic effect on what uh, people think they ought to be pursuing. And with the media that we have and the uh, celebrity culture that we have, it's very, very common to see people unconsciously adopt um, a frame of reference that if they're not famous, they're not successful. If they're not wealthy, they're not successful. And to, uh, even when they know better, continue to behave in ways that give them this sort of underlying sense of dissatisfaction if they're not famous or rich enough. So a lot of what I do in the book and in the teaching that I do is to try to give people a chance to gain a little perspective on that. And that means looking at the sources of those early messages that they may have internalized uh, and giving them a chance to make a few more choices about whether uh, that sort of impulse toward uh, getting recognition or the impulse toward making another $100,000 uh, when they have choices about using their time other ways, um, whether they, you know, whether they can gain more control over that. I mean, part of what I do is try to substitute uh, new goals for the, for the more automatic ones that our culture provides. And so instead of fame, I try to get people to start thinking about gaining respect. That means a smaller audience of people who know you better and uh, giving uh, you a sense of satisfaction from gaining the respect of that group as opposed to recognition from people you don't even know. And when it comes to the money side of things, I try to emphasize whatever your needs are that would relate to financial security for you and your family and not just a status scorecard that uh, people sometimes slip into when they just start counting their, uh, their bank account uh, zeros at the end of their net worth. So I think part of it is helping people wake up that realize that they're being unconsciously influenced. And the other is to provide them with a more thoughtful alternative that when they think about it actually is something they'd much rather pursue.